Welcome to another big edition of the RDFNL Footy Show. Thanks to McDonald's as we preview uh, the upcoming 2017 final series. We're looking ahead to the elimination final at Romsey Park on Sunday. We've got Diggers Rest and the Sunbury Kangaroos. I'm Yendi. I'm joined by Tara Murray from the Star Weekly. And uh, we've got the two crosstown rivals going head-to-head in this blockbuster sudden death final. It is. And these two sides have had a little bit of rivalry the last few years. So I think it's been a very good good match. I think both of them out of the six finalists were probably the least convincing in the final round of the season. So it's going to be an interesting matchup. Yeah, it certainly is. And uh, on paper, I guess we'll go dive into the uh, the archives. The archives go back to the history. Um, when Sunbury Kangaroos won that premiership in 2012, based on that stat, uh, every year... I think, well, for starters, it's either been uh, Diggers Rest or Sunbury Kangaroos have been in every grand final since 2000, uh, since 2010. Um, but they've faced every, every camp- campaign that Sunbury Kangaroos have had since that year, uh, they've faced Diggers Rest in the finals. So that's a very interesting... They, they, these, these two sides just happen to have, find a way to line up against each other in, uh, in the finals. It is, and there's been some interesting matches along those ones. And I think, yeah, this will add another element to, to that rivalry. Yeah, certainly will... Um, as you said, both sides probably don't go in with uh, too much conviction heading into this one. Um, Diggers Rest had a performance last week they'd rather forget. Uh, but again, how much are you reading that result? I think it's one they'd rather forget, but they had nothing to nothing to gain out of that a result. The only way they would have got into the top two was if they smashed Macedon and Rupert Wood lost to Rockbank. Mm. And that was never going to happen. Yeah. So for them, there wasn't they they didn't take a risk. And I know speaking with Sean Sims after their Romsey match, they said they weren't going to take any risks with injured players. So obviously Tom Gleeson was one that missed. Mm-hmm. Jamie Lobb, who both um, were injured in that match against Romsey. So there wasn't risks there. They probably had six, seven players out of their best side not playing. Some of the kangaroos have finished six. Um, how are they a strong six this year? If you, if you, all right, I'll, I'll use a. If 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 you had to choose between them and Wallen, I'll put you under the the the, market, the, the pump here. If you had to choose between them and Wallen to be a stronger team in sixth position, who would it be? Well, I haven't actually seen a lot of Wallen, so that's yeah. probably the one thing there. You've got on paper Wallen's probably had a lot bigger wins. Yep. And a lot, lot but they're a side that puts away those lower ranked sides. Sunbury mm. probably not as much. I know Sunbury was hit with injuries in the middle of the year, especially to their midfield, mm-hmm. and that hurts when you lose a Kane Murphy who's missed a big chunk of the season. Ty Cuff's another one who's missed a big chunk. They're two out of their engine room that really hurt there. But you look, Sunbury can kick goals. You go in the top seven goal kickers, they've got three. Yeah. So they've got three, 123 goals between Phil Lobb, Mitch Farmer and Ryan Pretty. So if you get them forward, you've got they've got options so you can kick plenty of goals. Diggers rest usually shine at this time of the year. They, they usually has sort of been historical for, from their perspective. They get to this time of year, they finish the home and away season. They, they've they've won they've been in the grand final from uh, from fourth before I think memory serves me correct so they're no stranger to sort of hovering around this position and uh, and and still carrying on and, and performing at the right time of year and that's one factor that will come into it with Diggers Rest they know how to perform at this time of the year and all year they've set themselves for this time of the year last year they went through they only lost one match in the final round of the season where this year they've lost a few more but they've had forty three players I think come through their senior side everything's been focused towards finals yes they may have had a loss a lot. Oh, two along the way but for them it's always been about finals this year and getting that game plan because they have had a lot of different players they've got a very different forward line to 12 months ago and about trying to get that quick in for this time of year they've only faced each other once this year was earlier on in the year and uh and diggers rest just got up on on that occasion there um but we you talk about diggers rest losses though that their losses have been pretty bad ones, I think, for memory serves me right. You have, and obviously you mentioned the match between the Kangas and Diggers early on. I think I know I was at the game. I think you may have been at that game as well. Mm. It was only 14 points that the Burroughs got up by, and the Kangaroos did have opportunities there. They... Um, they kicked poorly all day, and especially into their forward 50s. So if they can rectify that, they'll go a big difference to getting that game a lot closer. And neither of these sides are really fast, so they match up mm-hmm. well on that one as well. So obviously you do mention that Burroughs have had quite a few bad losses. They have come to the sides that are above them or around them on the ladder. So as we said, I don't think those losses really count for Burroughs because they know how to get it done at this time of the season. And I think, yeah, little focus of what's already happened. Look at the Kangaroos at one end, they've got the big three uh, who have been dominating all year up forward you look at uh, Diggers Rest and they've had to share their workload around. It uh, is and that's... How, how's that going to play? How does that influence the game? Well we, you don't know who's going to pop up for Diggers Rest. I think I a couple of weeks ago, I think at that point that had 11 or 12 
players who had either shared the leading goal kicking in a game or had it um, won out. So that's a lot of different options there. So it means that the Kangaroos can't just sit there and go, okay, that one's going to rely on that one. They've got to really shut down several different players. So that's that's probably a strength of Digger's Rest, but at the same time, it's probably a little bit of a weakness because you don't know who is going to you don't know who's going to stand up and kick those goals. Whether you can have someone consistently kick that three four goals. Yeah, and one of the players I'd be looking forward to that probably kick some of those goals is Tom Gleeson. He'll be coming if if he does get up, he'll be coming in with a hamstring injury now. He's had a couple of weeks off. Will that be enough to, um, to sort of get him to, to fully fit? I, I think he's an outstanding player in his own right. He can play forward or, or back. Um, I think they've still got a few of those niggling injuries, Diggers Rest. So maybe there's players that might be on the fringe of just to, having to, to have that risk of taking a week off or maybe a little bit underdone, whereas the summary kangaroos from, uh, from reports appear to be a bit more full strength. I think Kangaroos are still missing a few, and I, they only ended up with one on the bench um, fit against Wood End. But the other one, I think, for Diggers Rest that they really need, hopefully come back in, is Matt Crowell. Mm-hmm. He, yeah. he's, he can play forward, he can play back, he can play in the ruck. This year he's had to go a bit more forward, and he's been pretty consistent up there. So he's the one they really need. Um, hopefully he comes back and provides them with a lot up forward. So. I'll put you on the pump here, X Factor for Diggers Rest. X, now that's an interesting one. Well, oh, I'm yeah. going to say Matty Crowell. Yep. Yeah. I'm going to say Matty Crowell, he provides them with that flexibility and he can pro- take a key mark down forward that you do need someone down there that can do that. I'm going to put the uh, the grand final hero, one of grand final heroes from 2016 in the gun there, the man that sort of let them down uh, with a yellow card and come back on the late, late in the game and kick two match winning goals, Mick Kilty. I've seen him a few times uh, in the later stages of the season, the way he hits the pack up forward, he's a, he's a strong, strong body, can take marks and he can find teammates by hand or by foot to set up goals. I think he, he's crucial. He, he's the man, if they're going to win on the, on the weekend, he's the guy that's going to have a big input in it. So, uh, Sunbury Kangaroos, you've probably seen a little bit more, more of them uh, than probably, this probably year. Probably seen about the same of them, but I, yeah. I, I don't think I've seen them at all this year, or maybe once if I'm lucky. I was going to say, I haven't seen the I saw the Sunbury Kangaroos in every match I've seen they've lost, so I yep. haven't seen any since then. So, I think I saw them lose to Diggers Rest Macedon and Rupert's Wood, so the top three sides. But I think their midfield is their X Factor. If yep. their midfield can get on top, they get it to their forwards, then they're hard to stop because you do have those options. We mentioned three of them, but you've also got Josh Burgess as well. So yep. another another guy who is a key forward who can be pretty um, convincing down there. So I think the X Factor for them is their midfield. Yep. Spot on there. I'll, I'm going to go with Ryan Pretty to have a, have a standout game and look at. You'll get a uh, phone call from Al Waters uh, during the week and saying you're not coming on Sunday. You're uh, you're banned from the gates. Uh, so he'll definitely uh, he'll definitely be hating that. So um, at the end of the day, who, who's going to win this contest? I'm tipping diggers, but with no not convincingly. I've got no conviction in that tip. Yeah, I, I'm going to go diggers as well. Uh, um, but I'll, I'll sort of put it on the record that the last time uh, a team lost a third and six was Rupert's Wood uh, a few years ago and Broadford ended up winning the, going all the way to the preliminary final. And uh, as a benefit of that, the team that finished fourth that particular year, going back a few years ago, ended up winning the premiership. So, um, but we'll, that's, uh, that's, that's sort of shaping things up. But uh, Diggers Rest, only just in a hard-fought encounter at Romsey Park. They've had a lot of great memories there. And a lot of bad ones too, but uh, maybe for their sake, they'll, uh, they'll recapture some of that uh, glory that they did in the 2016 Grand Final. This has been the uh, the 2017 McDonald's uh, Finals Review, looking at the uh, the big game between Diggers Rest and Sunbury Kangaroos on Sunday. And uh, we look forward to seeing you guys out there.